If it's one thing about black women, we are going to stay busy, okay? We have goals, we have dreams, we have aspirations, we have goals for our goals, we have plans for our plans, okay? So what I wanted to do is share as a fellow black queen <laughs> some of my best productivity tips. So let's get right into the video. My name is Mercedes. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am the career love coach and my goal is to coach a thousand black women, okay, to pursue career bliss, to pursue a career that they can fall in love with and really feel aligned and like they're passionate about the work that they do. And one thing that I noticed from coaching so many black women, though I'm not at a thousand yet, is that we just have so many skills, we have so much ability, so much talent, so much gifts, but we're like, but what do I do with them? Like, where do I go? You know, what goals should I have? What do I need to focus on? And so that's why I really wanted to come here today and share more information with you for how you can kind of Focus yourself so that you can achieve the most important goals, those big goals, and do it in a way that doesn't feel stressful, that allows you to feel organized, allows you to feel productive, and allows you to feel like you're really, truly moving in the direction that you want to go with your life and your career. So, like I said, I'm sharing four productivity strategies and tools that I use to help me in my business as well as my career um, to continue to move forward. So let's get right into it. <laughs> also, make sure that you stay until the end of this video. I'm actually gonna tell you exactly how you can get access to my career love journal to help you get clarity because we are gonna talk about clarity, okay? No productivity can happen without clarity. So let's get right into it. <laughs> so like I said, clarity love. Like clarity starts that's really the start of the basis for everything, okay? And if it is not, then that's why you're not able to achieve your goals. I'm, I say that with love, okay? I've been there, I understand. But in all honesty, your ability to get clear is what's going to indicate your ability to be successful, right? Like if you're not clear, you can't be productive. And so it's kind of like the idea that your manager gave you an assignment, but didn't tell you what the assignment was. Like, how are you supposed to complete the assignment? Like, I didn't understand the assignment. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. That was an old trend, but I had to because like, let's go, okay? Help you by telling yourself what the assignment is. Where do you want to go? What does alignment look like for you? What does that next step look like for you? What do you want to achieve, okay? You gotta answer those things, okay? So the first thing that you're gonna do is spend some time thinking about exactly what is important to you. What do you want to achieve? What is the top of the line for each of these areas of your life? So one way to I kind of spoiled it, but one way to make sure that you are considering exactly what you want is to start by looking at all of the areas of your life, right? You don't have to analyze things. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Because you could be here analyzing all day, right? And that's what hurts also people from being productive and moving forward. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to list off all of those areas of your life that you might want to look at. Um, and then I want you to go through and think about what do you really want in each of these areas. So these are the ones that I've outlined. So one, lifestyle and leisure. Two, environment. Three, experiences. Four, mental and physical health. Five, career. Six, business. Seven, personal development. Eight, relationships. Nine, community. Ten, finances, and 11, spiritual. That's a lot of different areas in life, okay? Okay, right? Um, so before you get overwhelmed, you don't have to have a big goal in every single area. Um, you can also have a goal in every single area, but it doesn't mean you need to pursue, and you probably shouldn't actually, pursue big goals in all of those areas, okay? Um, but it is important to get, again, clarity about where you want to go because if you don't know where you're going, you can't see those things 
come to life. So think about it, take some time for reflection, and then decide where you want to go. It's kind of like point 0.1, point 0.2 for clarity, you know, when you have a table of contents, but it's not the first part, but it's kind of like 1.2. This is part of it as well, right? Um, and it's a little bit of a tip, but if you haven't heard about it before, all of those goals that you set for yourself, um, that you're clear about you wanting to achieve, you should definitely make SMART goals for those. Sometimes SMART, SMART goals, um, they can get really, they can be really big. And so you definitely wanna make sure that you really narrow those down and decide, or excuse me, break those down and pick little milestones, right? That are also written in the SMART method uh, to ensure that you're able to see each piece and feel like you have accomplishments along the way, okay? Because it's not gonna happen overnight. So what is a SMART goal? A SMART goal is a goal that you set that, oh, well, I should say SMART stands, it's an acronym, and it's a way of writing goals. People who actually use SMART goals are better, are more likely to be successful in actually achieving those goals. So here's what it stands for. Paper, all the time. S is for specific, M is for measurable, A is for achievable, R is for relevant, T is for time bound. Now, if you have a different SMART acronym, okay, there's a lot of different ones floating around, use which one makes the most sense for you, right? It's really just about being specific in all of these different areas so that you truly have something to hold on to or to move forward as you create these SMART goals, okay? So, number one, gain clarity about the goals that you have and Hopefully you write them in a smart method. <laughs> the second one is one that I really love. Um, kudos to my mom for introducing this to me. Um, it's actually a concept called the 12 week gear. Um, I have the video. I will also um, put a link down below to my Amazon storefront. So if you order it through that, of course I can earn commissions or whatever that's called. Um, gain earnings from that. but. The 12 week year is a really lovely book. Um, and the concept is, is that it's right there. <laughs> Get more done in 12 weeks than others do in 12 months. Um, I did not read this whole book, but the concept, and I've just read enough for me to be like, yeah, I got it, let's do this. Um, is that people we use the whole year to outline what their goals are and what they wanna achieve. And then when they get to the end of the year, they haven't achieved it because it was such a big milestone, right? An entire year to accomplish all of these things. And usually what happens is like, okay, at the end of the year, that's when you start to be like, oh, I haven't achieved these goals or, and things like that. And that happens in both our professional and our work um, and our personal lives. And so the idea is that instead of setting these big goals for a year from now, set them for 12 week periods of time, a quarter, and then make sure you have milestones. You've outlined exactly what you're gonna do within those 12 weeks. So um, I'm actually gonna talk about Notion in just a moment and how that connects to a 12 week year and how I actually plan out my year with the 12 week week year, kind of sort of methodology in my own way. Um, but ultimately it's the goal to really increase your productivity, increase your ability to accomplish those goals because you're not thinking in a year, you're thinking in three to five big goals within 12 weeks, okay? So like I said, if you would like to order this using my affiliate link, you can do so below. Boom, oh, number three, okay. Um, I'm obsessed with Notion, okay? I'm just gonna put that out there. I love Notion. My brain is in Notion. My everything that I do from a planning standpoint and organization standpoint is in Notion and I've never felt more productive or more organized in my entire life. Like I was a planner girly, I was a Google Drive girly, I was a calendar girly, I was an Asana girly. Literally, I have tried out so, so many different things but and things can always change, but um, I've never loved anything for productivity more than I ever have with uh, Notion. Um, so what's Notion? Um, yes, people use it for productivity, um, but it's really a software that is for 
note keeping, it's a workspace. They can kind of have planners, notes, databases. Um, and basically you're able to get into there and really create this kind of workspace or organizational tool that works exactly for how your brain wants it to work, to look exactly how your brain wants it to look. So work and look. So it's not like you're stuck with a planner that you may not really like or you're stuck with a, you know, um, a sauna that may not really work well for you, you can really create any type of space that you want in Notion. Well, you know, it has a lot of flexibility. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually walk you through um, my 12 week uh, vision board in Notion so that you can get a sense of how you can use a 12 week year as well as Notion um, to help you. Um, also, if you would like below, um, there's a link for you to um, sign up for Notion below. Um, same thing, link, if you purchase things with Notion, if you upgrade your thing, I'm going to get a commission. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just saying that I like Notion, but also my affiliate link is down there. Legal stuff, whatever. Don't sue me. Okay. All right, love, here is my super quick vision board walkthrough um, that follows a 12 week year in Notion. So I have a couple of tabs up here. This is actually called a board view in Notion because I wanted to have visual pictures that really helped me to connect with each of my goals. So you'll see here that it's quarterly. So it's April, 2023 is when I'm recording this. And so I have some goals that I need to get accomplished pretty quickly <laughs> um, here, but I am flexible with myself. So I'll actually move a couple of these around. And then here is my May 2023 goals. And here's my June goals. Okay. I just actually finished a goal setting session for myself. So these are actually going to switch. It is okay to change up your goals and move them around, but here is where we're at. And then I like to also see the bigger picture as well to keep those bigger, longer term goals in mind and then also have them automatically show up on this quarterly plan according to when I have set the date. So here is my 10 year roadmap. So I have things that don't have a goal. They're more of like experiences and things that I wanna keep from like a bucket list standpoint. So those are here, they will eventually have pictures. And then you can see everything that I'm wanting to accomplish in 2023 and then 2024, 2025 and so on, right? So it keeps all of these things here visually appealing and everything else like that. Then in each of these, I have different ones for each of those areas in my life. You may have different areas. This is how I choose to really define mine. Um, and then I have them here, right? I can click through. And then also I love seeing all of the things I've accomplished. So I actually have all of the things that I've done that were on my vision board um, here for me to view and see as they continue to grow. I will of course put more things, there will be more things here, but I love this um, way to just reflect on what I've done. So yeah, that is my vision board in Notion and I love it, love it, love it. Oh, one thing that I will show you is like you can click on this, right? And you can have all of these things like categorize and you can have notes and different ways to organize things. And then down here, I just have notes about different things. So basically I, I tracked like what session I was on and what time, some other things that they had recognized and this is how the image shows up um, on the vision board. So yeah, there it is y'all, whoop whoop. Okay, so number four is actually creating a vision board. I think, honestly, vision boards are one of the things that were kind of like faddish. People kind of sleep on them now. But honestly, I have never not had a vision board. And I love, love, love every time I get to, one, see my vision on a piece of paper, feel inspired by that, remain clear and focus on what I want. Um, and also, just the idea that, Every, I love getting the opportunity to see things in person that was once on my vision board. Like, it's just an amazing thing. Okay, so the difference here is that I feel like people make vision boards and they put them in a wall or they store them away. It's not in a place that's visual or accessible um, because the whole idea is that you're visualizing what you want to come to happen 
to come to fruition, what you're going to manifest, you're going to visualize these goals and dreams, and it's going to inspire you, right? Um, and so if you don't have that in a <laughs> place where you can see it every day, it kind of like ruins the purpose of having a vision board. You can't see it. Vision, see, you know? Um, so what I would actually recommend is that you create a vision board in Canva um, and that you create one for so many different settings. So create one for your um, computer desktop, create one that you print out and put on the wall or maybe even use photo paper and get it blown up or something. Um, put one on your wallpaper, on your phone, on your tablet. Um, I know that like, um, I didn't change it, but I probably should. Like you can change your little infotainment center on your car. Like there's just so many different ways that you can make sure that your vision on your refrigerator. Okay, that your vision board is at the front and center. So I think you should do that. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually show you my vision board in Canva. Okay, so that you can kind of be inspired and see what's really possible with Canva. Okay, yes, love. This is my vision board. It makes me so happy. It has all of my big goals in here, like being financially free, going on first class travel, getting an RV, my family, my ancestral home, me and my fiambe and our future RV, my engagement ring to just give me some you know a little bit of what the vision has already been and then i have quotes that are really inspiring to me to continue on the journey i have big goals little goals and everything in between so that's just kind of a preview of my vision board okay so i hope that you really loved my vision board walkthrough um a couple of tips for vision boards that like i think are really helpful so one use visuals of the actual thing right try to get as realistic as you possibly can so for instance if you are wanting an offer to a new job um that's a certain salary a certain title a certain job duties a it's hybrid or remote or you want in office whatever then make sure that you have like an actual offer letter that it says what the position is, what the salary range is, like get specific, right? So that you can see the actual offer letter that you want every single day. Visualization, okay? Get specific. The other one is that find a way that you can represent different areas of your life, right? I understand that um, not everything we can find a visual for, like maybe if we're building a house, right? We don't know exactly what house we'll build or where we'll be, um, but find a house that inspires you. Find a house that you'd love your dream house to look like. Um, get something that's really going to inspire you and that visually it lights you up, right? So don't just put images on a board that don't resonate with you or inspire you, okay? And three, like I said, make sure you put it everywhere. <laughs> Okay, love, so now that you know about all of my different productivity hacks, I want you to tell me in the comments which of these you're going to try out. Are you going to look at some SMART goals? Are you going to get the, oops, start doing the 12 week year? Are you going to try out Notion or are you going to try out a vision board? Or maybe all of the above. But remember, like I said, we'd be doing too much, so just pick one of these for right now, okay? But let me know. Hi, love. Um, I would love to see you again. I would love for you to hang out. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and do that, love, because I just, I just, I just want to spend more time with you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we're almost to the bonus where I was telling you that there was going to be something really exciting to help you get clarity. But first, I just want to share that, you know. Like I mentioned, black women, we just have so many big goals for ourselves. And I also think that we should be supported and we should be with other black women who are also, who have big goals, who are like-minded, who are trying to see ourselves better in our lives, our careers, our businesses, whatever we're doing, right? And so because of that, it was important for me to start to create a community of individuals that think like I do, that um, want to be able to s pursue bliss professionally and personally and so I actually created a community it's called the career love community and it is full of beautiful black women who are seeking to get to a different stage in their career right they want meaning impact um, they want to be valued and they want to love the work that they do and feel this true sense of bliss in the way that they show up 
in their lives and also at work. Um, and so if this sounds like a community that you want to be a part of, I would love you to join them. I'm gonna drop a link, I'm dropping all the links below, um, for you to be able to join. It is a low cost community. I wanted it to be accessible. I wanted it to be a space where we can come together. There's also tons, 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 tons of training and resources in that group. We also have um, meetups at least once a month. And I'm also going to start doing challenges pretty soon to help you move forward with goal setting and your job search so if you would like to work with me actually yeah i'm giving like support in that so if you ask me questions in there i'm gonna respond to you like i'm gonna be helpful <laughs> so go ahead and join i would love for you to become part of the community and i hope i see you in there Okay, love, I promised that I had a tool, a resource that was going to help you get clarity in your career, um, and that is the Career Love Journal. I honestly set out to create a resource that was going to allow black women, black women to replicate the same thing that I do with my clients um, and do that on their own time and do it for free. Um, I think that Again, like I said, clarity is really that bridge to making sure that you have the life that you want, that you have the career that you want, that you can have the types of experiences and live the kind of life that you wanna live. Um, and so what I did is I created the Career Love Journal. Um, it takes you through daily prompts, um, journal entries, and I also email you through along all through the way uh, with insight and stories and uh, tips and motivational messages that really keep you going but really it was created for black women to have this journey and really bring, bring clarity into their lives it's not just about your career but it starts with really just understanding what you really want and goes through the idea of how can your career really support you in that journey and what do you need to do what's your next steps how can you take action um, and so um, you can download uh, that journal below if you want to order a physical copy you can but the digital copy is absolutely uh, free and so I um, basically I want to see you be able to kind of have that transformational clarity in 28 days and that's what that journal does um, so go ahead and go below if you'd like to download it okay so as we are closing this I told you that priority is key so I would like to know what is your number one goal and what priority and why does it have that type of priority in your life um, I want to see what you'll do and also what tool you think you'll use to help you achieve that one goal <laughs> okay well love I hope that this again can really help you to achieve those big goals um, I love talking about productivity I love talking about what I'm doing so absolutely write down below if you have questions reach out to me um, but I really my goal here is to see black women thrive is to see black women love their careers, is to see black women live in bliss and so I hope that this video has helped you get closer to any or all of those goals um, so if you haven't already like this video it really does help more black women see this video um, and also share it with another uh, black woman that you think would benefit from this type of information okay love well I made it through all of my videos um, my crown never comes off but this one this one's coming off and I'm going to bed um, more of my 12 week year stuff can uh, wait until next week so I'll see you later <laughs>